Well, good afternoon. Thank you, Mayor Cranley, for uh, being with us today. Uh, first, I want to express on behalf of the University of Cincinnati community our condolences to the mother, uh, family, and friends of Samuel DuBose. Um, our hearts go out uh, to you, and we mourn with you a relative to this heartbreaking loss of Samuel. This morning, the mayor and I discussed how we can best work together to move the city and the university community forward in an aligned manner following Sunday's officer-involved shooting. As a result of this morning's discussion, I indicated to him that the University of Cincinnati is open to discussing an alignment and participation in the Cincinnati Collaborative Agreement. In that matter, we can enhance transparency as it relates to our relationship with the Cincinnati Police Department and with respect to our overall operations as an institution. I also want to point out that the University of Cincinnati police officers receive the same state required training as the other municipal law enforcement officers that are operating in the city and state. We will, however, be reviewing comprehensively training and policies and procedures and making sure that we are applying best practices in everything that we do as a university. Regardless of the outcome of this investigation, the University of Cincinnati is committed to a safe community for all. And so our UC Police Chief Jason Goodrich and I will meet Monday morning with the Manager's Advisory Group, which is an outgrowth of the collaborative agreement that has just been discussed. Following the conversation with the Mayor, Chief Goodrich and I have decided also to create a new community advisory group that will work directly with the community uh, and the University of Cincinnati Police Department. Now, Mayor Cranley. Mayor. Uh, first, let me also extend uh, my condolences to the DuBose family for their tragic loss of life. Uh, I've had a chance to speak personally with some of the family members, and uh, as I think the President said, uh, President Ono and I will be having a private meeting uh, later this week with uh, the members of the family to express our personal condolences to the DuBose family. Uh, it's obviously uh, a tragic loss of life for which we are very sorry. I also want to say that the University of Cincinnati is an important part of this city. And I think we've all gotten to know Santa Ono over the last several years as a man committed to making UC a better place. <clears throat> and so in that vein, the fact that he has asked for Cincinnati uh, Police Department to help the UC Police Department improve its policies and procedures and training to try to prevent these types of outcomes in the future uh, is, is progress. And that the Cincinnati Police Department, and obviously we have been through our own tough times, has made a number of changes with the collaborative agreement, changing our use of force, the escalation of use of force, the introduction of tasers, uh, and how they are used. Um, that we have learned over uh, a long period of time, having made our own mistakes and making improvements, that as a general matter, the, a, a pullover related to a license plate should not, in the normal course of events, lead to lethal force and the death, as it has in this case. So therefore, Reform is in order, and uh, I think it's the right thing to do. Uh, I know our police department, the police department stands ready to work with uh, UC, and I think it shows uh, the right type of leadership in a very difficult situation uh, to say that we are open and ready uh, to reform as UC President Ono has, has done so. So with that, uh, we're here to say that we are going to provide the mentoring and the uh, input that we have learned through hard lessons uh, to help UC's police department improve. Mayor Cranley, are you saying in any shape or form that the 
form that the officer's actions were wrong? You seem to be saying that just a second ago. No, what I'm saying, I don't know because it's subject to an ongoing investigation. What I do know is that, that whether or not, whether or not there are any criminal wrongdoing, which I don't know, will be found. We do know that as a general matter, uh, that we do not want license plate, license plate pullovers to lead to loss of life. And that clearly we should be trying to implement use of force policies to prevent that kind of outcome. If this is a good idea now, why didn't, wasn't it a good idea beforehand? Why did it take a tragedy for these two agencies to come together and let me say that the, uh, the city of Cincinnati, the mayor's office, the Cincinnati Police Department, and the University of Cincinnati really work, uh, we're really joined at the hip. We work very closely together. Uh, it's a fantastic relationship uh, that's longstanding. Uh, you saw that at the uh, press conference er earlier this week. Uh, we meet on a weekly basis really to discuss what's happening. Um, there is an evolution over time over how people respond to situations like this, and we will have an appropriate conversation about that moving forward. I have not seen the video. I have not. A couple months ago, there was a letter from the head of the Trump Community Council or some community that Carol Osmond and some of the administration just saying, you know, I've seen what we, we have reports of UC police pulling over people, two and three SUVs on that exhibit to each other about traffic stops. And it wasn't is bad, it was just is it legal? Under what auspices can UC police do this? It is legal, but it is something that, as I said, we will be looking at um, in the days moving forward in collaboration with the Cincinnati Police Department. I forgot to add that we are in the preliminary stages of, of putting together an advisory group to UC uh, as, they, as they look with the Cincinnati Police Department at reforms. So far, um, uh, Cecil Thomas, the state senator, who was a former head of Cincinnati Human Relations Commission, was a former, I think, 27-year police officer, uh, has agreed to serve on that advisory uh, group. I believe Robin Engel uh, here at UC, uh, who is an expert in, the, in this area. Uh, certainly, uh, Pastor Pete Mingo, who's also been in the community over the last several days, has agreed to serve. Uh, so I, I think we're, we're getting a lot of people who have been in the trenches on these issues before willing to step forward uh, to, help, to help make changes going forward. We'll also on that uh, council have representation from the UC police itself. Douglas Barge, a senior member of that uh, UCPD, will be part of that. Uh, Robert Ambach, uh, who is senior vice president for uh, finance administration, will also be on that. So we will start work Monday. We're absolutely committed to doing that. Uh, we want to do better moving forward. We're committed to that. And we thank uh, the city and the mayor for being partners in that. And we're looking forward to working with the community to discuss all those issues. But is that what that would mean? That's what it, absolutely. And we, that starts on Monday morning. And how will you see, how will you see students be involved in this priority? Well, I will continue to uh, encourage student involvement. Um, and uh, I think that uh, students uh, We'll talk to them and, and find an appropriate venue for their, their participation. That's very, very important. Absolutely. Thanks for that question. The word is that the investigation now has been completed and it's been turned over to the prosecutor's office and the prosecutor said they'll have something late next week. Is That's the any, word, is yes. Is there any connectivity to the fact that we have the Peter Music Festival this weekend with large amounts of out-of-town business? I don't think that has anything to do with it. I've had conversations. They are really looking through a, a large amount of information. Um, there have been some testimonials that have been collected, um, and the prosecutor is uh, looking through that. This is uh, a process, the integrity of which we respect, um, and I think he needs a little bit more time. Our police are uh, very much ready for this annual wonderful tradition of the music festival. I will be there on Friday night, just like the All-Star Game. It's a chance for people to come together as a community and have a good time. When, when this video <laughs> Separate from the personal tragedies here, what concern do you have that the rest of the country is going to say, police officer in Cincinnati shoots guy in the head unarmed at your traffic stop? Even if it turns out to be legal, you don't have to fight. How concerned are you of just what it's going to mean? Will it undo 15 years of violence? Could it? 
Well, certainly, uh, speaking on the behalf of the university, we care deeply about the city of Cincinnati, and anything that happens on this campus that reflects badly on the city is something that we take very, very seriously. The idea we're hearing is to follow up on Jeff's things that some people who have seen the video are saying it's not good, it's ugly, it does not reflect the city in a very good light. You're right. Kind of from over it's very difficult for me to say since I haven't seen the video, it would be inappropriate for me to, to comment on that. Same. There's a lot of talk about transparency. What do you want to say to the folks who want to see this video now? Uh, I mean, as I said, days, sure. a lot of times in Cincinnati, you see these things come out like immediately. Sure, sure. You know, we were prepared to release the video as an institution, but uh, we are really following uh, the process, the integrity of the process, and it's really a matter for the prosecutor of Hamilton County to decide the timing of that release. I've spoken to Prosecutor Joe Dieters multiple times over the last uh, few days, and uh, he's made it clear to me that, that he views uh, he is moving very quickly on his on his uh, side of this uh, investigation, and that he he until he's able to complete his work, he he believes that a, a earlier viewing is an obstruction of justice. So, uh, you know, that's his expertise, not mine. His decision, but I understand it, and I and I believe him when he says he's taking this matter very seriously, and working very quickly to bring this to a place where the video can be released. I think it would be premature to have that kind of discussion right now. Um, the beginning of conversations of alignment will begin, uh, they've already begun, and they'll continue next week. Is that one possibility, though, that UC would be slow to Cincinnati? Be inappropriate to comment on that at this, point, at this time. When you say alignment, what do you mean? I think the alignment we're talking about is having UC adopt the reforms that uh, use of force and escalation of force, the reintroduction of tasers, uh, the things that, that we have adopted to try to reduce outcomes like this. The UC Police Department did away with tasers after the recent... Uh, that is correct. That is correct, but we'll evaluate that as well as part of the conversation. The fact that there is, the rest of the country is looking at this. Yes. Do you have concerns about that, outsiders coming into town, uh, depending on what happens with, with the uh, prosecutorial review? The only thing that I um, focus on right now is uh, the welfare of the family, number one. And number two, doing everything that we can to fully cooperate with the process. Have you reached out to the family? We have, and we're going to meet with them tomorrow afternoon. Do you share with that conversation? We're meeting tomorrow. Not, it hasn't happened yet. How, how do you plan to build a unique community? How do you bring us together as a bear tech community? This is part of the process uh, to have these sorts of uh, open uh, forums and discussions. Uh, in, interacting with the Community Advisory Committee will be part of that, meeting with the uh, Managers uh, Advisory Council. Uh, thank you so much for, for making that possible. Um, that kind of direct face-to-face -face interaction between myself and the community is essential. Okay. What do you know? What, what you all right, thank you. That's all the time we have. We're concluding now. Tom, thank you. Gentlemen. Yeah, thank you very much.